I understand what you mean. I think a lot of people, in a sense, have that that great fear of failure. Um, and if you look at it too, there's tons and tons and tons of Americans that are living paycheck to paycheck. But it, this is looking at it from the business sense of if you want to start a business. I don't know what your goals necessarily are, but if you're going on the path of wanting to start a business, but you're afraid of uh, not having that safety net, then you just start very, very small. You just take however small it is that you want to start, start smaller than that. Minimize your risk as much as possible. So, for example, if you want to go, you know, mow lawns and have that be your business, like don't go get the crazy fancy lawnmower, you know, start with the push mower, start with that, get some gas cans, you know, throw it in the back of a truck or, you know, get a trailer and pull it behind a car, whatever it is, or start with your neighbor's lawns and just try to get around where you are. But I think no matter what the business is, you can start like micro small to minimize that risk and you kind of just take baby steps and grow it slowly and slowly and you're going to find that you're going to be able to build it up and really just minimize your risk and you know you don't have to worry about the final financial buffer as much because then you can just take any money that you're making put it back into the business um, and grow it slowly and then hopefully also that's going to help with your fear of failure because now you are you know kind of tackling that fear that you have and you're taking it head on while mitigating your risk, but you're accomplishing goals and you're working towards a, a bigger goal um, and you're building confidence along the way. Um, so again, this is geared towards business, but I'm sure you could probably take that towards anything else that you're working towards, um, just kind of taking baby steps towards that fear of failure and you know working towards your goals. It's better than doing absolutely nothing. Um, that's like the worst possible thing you can do because then when you get older, now you look back and you're like, oh, I regret not starting that business. I regret not doing X, Y, Z. Like at the end of the day, if you go bankrupt and have no money, you can start over. But if you're 80, 90 years old, laying on your deathbed, and you're like, oh, I wish I would have done this or that. That's a regret that you're gonna literally have to live with until you die. Um, so just take the risk. If you fail completely and lose it all, you just start over. It's not like you go to jail for filing bankruptcy. It's shitty. I get it. But it's not the end of the world. You just start over and do it all over again. That's my, that's what I would say.